Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 10.7 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. If you're in my class, you should have your big math book and we are going to fill in page 407 as you watch the video. Lesson 10.7 is all about patterns, patterns with shapes. Um, pretty easy actually, this should be an easy lesson for you. They're going to give you a pattern, they're going to ask you what the pattern is, and they're going to ask you to continue that pattern. So let's look at the unlock the problem. You can find patterns in fabric, pottery, rugs, and wall coverings. You can see patterns in shape, size, position, color, or number of figures. Sophia will use the pattern below to make a wallpaper border. What might be the next three figures in the pattern? So they don't just want the next one, but the next three. So we can see they're starting with a base of a um, red pyramid and a base of a green triangle. Let's fill in this graphic organizer before we start. What do I need to find? I need to find the next three figures. On that line, you should be writing figures. In the pattern, what information do I need to use? I need to use the shape of each figure in Sophia's pattern. How will I use the information? I will use the pattern blocks to model the figures again and act out the problem. So, we've got, like I said, a trapezoid and then one green triangle. Here we've got the same trapezoid, but now instead of one green triangle, she's added two. Now we're going back to the original one trapezoid, one green triangle, and then one trapezoid, one green triangle, plus she added two. So it looks like the pattern just alternating between the first one, then the second one. First one, then the second one. So then we go to the first pattern again. So a trapezoid plus a green triangle and then we go back to a trapezoid and three green triangles. And then back to the original, oops, trapezoid and one green triangle. So here's the next one, the next two, the next, the third. So describe how you acted out the problem to solve it. I used a trapezoid and triangle to model the first figure in the pattern. I used a trapezoid, should be the word that you put in there, and three triangles, to model the second figure in the pattern. I continued to model the pattern by repeating the models of the first two figures. These are the next three figures in the pattern, so they did it for us, just like what we did. This one matches this one, this one matches this one, and this one matches our third one. So, basically you just need to identify the pattern and continue it on. This is Lesson 10.7. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.